picture of you guys. <laughs> It'll be good. To get the speech too. That's important. Uh, smile, slow, enthusiastic. Mm. So keep me calm. I can take these babies off. Win an Olympic gold medal. See the Cubs win a World Series. Blow the biggest bubble. Give a memorable speech. And give Barack Obama a back rub. It's my bucket list. I'm hoping to get one of those cut off today. Fingers crossed Barack Obama shows up. <laughs> uh, I wanted to start this speech with some warm-up games for the crowd. You know, uh, this speech is not going to be very inspirational. That was not what I was going for. Uh, if you wanted to see an inspirational speech, you could have YouTubed it, or you could wait for Hope Reyes, who's up next. She's, she's dope. She's real good. No, my speech probably, hopefully it'll make you laugh and probably won't make you cry, but it may make you laugh so hard you cry or even cry so hard you laugh. I haven't seen that one yet, but maybe today. So let's get started. Warm-ups, appetizers. Uh, first things first, every single person in the crowd right now, on the count of three, you're going to shout your favorite word. And you better do it because I will call you out. I will step into the audience. All right. Three, two, you ready? One, garbanzo. Good job. We had a lady in row three not participate. I could see her lips weren't moving, but besides that, pretty good participation. I mean, just imagine going through high school and not realizing that one of your fellow classmates had the same favorite word. Two people with a shared love of the word garbanzo? What a missed opportunity for friendship. All right, next thing. It goes pretty quick, so keep up. Next thing. When I go like this, everyone needs to shout Grizzlies. And this is going to happen throughout, and it's going to go pretty fast. So you're going to have to stay on your toes. Ready? Let's practice. Grizzlies. Damn, that's louder than I expected it to be. Uh, so, yeah, stay on your toes. That's how I'm going to keep you guys all focused. When I go like this, Grizzlies. very, very good. I'm, that's fun. <laughs> good job. I like it. All right, now we're going to start the real part of the speech. This is the real part. I think I had more text on that, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I have spoken in front of a Peyton audience for the last four years. I have done horrible improvisational parodies. I've done some pretty bad stuff that I probably can't say in a church, but Peyton's always been a great audience. And uh, every time when I finish a speech or a performance, I say, the next one's going to be better, I'll tell you that much. There's no more next one. This is the last one, so... I know. Uh, it, let's hope it's pretty damn good, all right? So since my only talents are rhyming and timing, I thought that this speech would be the perfect timing for rhyming. Remember one thing, remember one fact, uh, mm. <laughs> Woo, feathers get in your mouth. Stay hydrated, all right? If you leave this with one thing, stay hydrated. Not overhydrated, but stay hydrated. That's a metaphor. Think about it throughout the poem, all right? That's important. We'll get back to that. Remember the hydration, all right? I love you guys. You're a great audience. I am not a poet. And I know it, because a poet would say something brilliant about the four C's. But I would prefer to talk about what I see as Peyton C's. Charisma, carrots, Kobe, clutch factor, cabbage. As you can see, I am not a poet, and I know it. Because a poet would talk about the excellent teachers and how they've trained us to be future leaders. But I am a stern believer in the fact that the best moments with this staff are when they let us take a breather to sit in the bleachers. Teachers eager to take a detour. Teachers who were impressively immature and so secure in their love for the obscure. And sure, it wasn't all pretty like in the brochures, but I would for sure, I would for sure choose that over something unpure.
like sitting mindlessly watching another lecture. But I'm not a poet, and I know it, because a poet would say his fellow classmates are future doctors and lawyers when they grow up. But I say enough with talking about the future. What is up with acting like we aren't humans already? Sit still and stay steady when I give you this groundbreaking epiphany. The kids in this audience, the class of 2014, are what most people aspire to be, happy. And do we need much more? Do any of us really want to be lawyers? But I am not a poet, and I know it, because a poet would say that graduation is a very important day. And I guess I'd say the same, but probably for different reasons. This here is a changing of the seasons, and even if you haven't hit it yet, when you hit the next stage of your life, it'll hit you back. But not in an attack, more of a love tap. It's going to be different, but it's still going to be you. And there may be an incident, or maybe even two, that may make you feel like you are just through. But tighten your belt and tie up your shoes, because it, in that, it is in that moment when you do not know what to do, that is when you have to remember the tried and the true, the orange and the blue, the proud and the few. Remember that you have the might of a Peyton Knight and you can fight to push through. Your fire will ignite and you'll be all right despite whatever's a skill. Let's get some snaps for that. That's a lot of rhymes. A poet may say I'm quite off track and they might even say I'm whack. Poets don't usually say whack, but maybe. But I say no to this theoretical poet because I hold this mic tight because I know that tonight might be the last time I speak to some of you. My... So screw poems and poetry. I'm going to show them how to rhyme like me. And listen closely. I'll say the next part slowly. The class of 14's about to turn up and while out. There will be some tears of joy, no doubt, and singing sad songs if you want to go that route. But I say switch up the beat. Because don't be sad. We're leaving. Get on your feet. And metaphorically, don't actually get on your feet. <laughs> Return to the foe, get up. What it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the rail and swiping in late again. Pimp seniors out, pimp short walking. Little bit of courage, little bit of curiosity. Somewhere between like Timmy D and Adam G graduation robe game, y'all can't stop me. Bad time for a parody, but this here is our party. Uh, my class has been the best grade and we did it our way. Grown students, we shed our skin and put our bones in everything that we've done and yet we gone, right? Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that graduation robe and diploma in my style. Uh, remember our legacy and let it stick around in this town But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my school Trust me, on my G-R-I-Z-Z-L-I-E-S Seniors busting, chasing dreams since we was freshmen With our four years coming All across the city with our backpack honors track crushing Teachers out here know they can't tell us nothing Now that we have graduated and are going across the country No one out here, they can't tell us nothing Cause now that we're graduated and going across the country. That'll take a big sip of water. I need to stay hydrated. Mm. All right. Remember the hydration fact. We'll get back to that. But I should keep speaking because Peyton's best class is leaving. And it's not time to start grieving because you have to worry about keeping our traditions alive. While you're weeping, open those eyes and see that it is all of our jobs to make what we've done thrive. Nathan Reed on the piano, everyone. It's pretty good. <laughs> Four years ago, we came into this unknown, and I know I immediately got my mind blown. I was shown around by a new friend who said, this high school gig, it's just a means to an end. Well, here's the end. Here are the send-offs and the goodbyes, the last hugs and the last rides, and you give it your very best, not to tr very best try not to cry. Because that girl you liked since freshman year is looking. She walks over and you muster up a, what's cooking? And now you're crying too. Who knew it would all go so fast? The past four years have been a blast and we'll make the memories last. But dang, it feels like just yesterday I got my first Inspire. Ooh, there ain't nothing like a new Inspire. And it feels like just yesterday a teacher first inspired me. She said, what does Bernice Bob's her hair really mean? And just yesterday was senior year, or just sophomore year, it's senior year today, just senior sophomore year, and I had a whole new set of fears, like chemistry, where my teacher told me, I hope your bottle rocket hits you in the face. And just yesterday, I was running the pacer, going my own pace, 
slow. Y solamente ayer me enteré de español. Ya, 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 ya. But I am not a poet. And I know it. If I look into my memories, I see a treasure trove of everything. Smiles, frowns, laughs. A world of hazy images like still frames, like photographs. And each of those things are like pieces to a puzzle that make up why I love Peyton. But slowly pieces fade and fade and... One day I'll come back and I won't recognize the building or the kids and maybe one day all the teachers will leave. What we did, what we've achieved, will all be overshadowed by another class. But years pass and one day, what? Is that really you? You look so different. What's new? And it'll all pour back in like students to a seminar day at 8.15. I'll see one of you from the class of 14 and it may not be the memories I see, but the values, the four gosh darn C's. So please believe me, I love Peyton, and if I can't express it with words, maybe I can with action. What I'm trying to say is, no matter how long we're away, it'll feel like just yesterday we learned character, compassion, courage, and curiosity. Believe me, those seeds will stay no matter how bad things get, no matter how gray. What else can I say? Class of 14, we graduate today. Remember this speech, never forget it. I love you guys, that's the best I got. I got all back up.